Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Wrestling Rampage. Hey, the right, Pops. Yeah, we're here at Pizza Hut. Yeah, we're here at sure Pizza Hut. Sure, get no damn pizza. We're here at Pizza Hut to actually get a big, uh, big lot of stuff. And I can't wait to, because it's a little after one. We're about to be getting it. And uh, we'll uh, we'll show you guys what we picked up in the, whenever whenever the guy arrives. So uh, it's a little dark. That is and, if he does arrive. Yeah, it's a little dark and rainy out here today. So this is Kentucky. What do you expect? Agree with that. But we'll show you guys what we pick up in just a few minutes. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Wrestling Rampage. I'm Joey, and today, guys, I'm going to show you guys what I got off Facebook Marketplace. Now. I got a, I got a really good deal on this stuff. Not, you know, not, you know. I usually don't like to pick up things for cheap if I can get them. This was cheap enough, and uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to get rid of and what I'm going to keep. Uh, but it was too good of a deal to pass up. And you guys seen in the footage before this, I met the guy at Pizza Hut, which is literally five minutes from my house. Not even that, probably. But, I uh, went and picked that up from the guy. Nice guy. I actually bought something from him before. I think it was the Metroid Prime disc game that I got. It was Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. I ended up completing that. And, uh, the guy had, he had a sale of a bunch of video game. There's a couple of consoles and some games and, uh, he wanted like two hundred and like forty dollars for everything. Well, one of the things is something I didn't really want to get, and that was a PS One, like an actual original PS One. I told him that I wasn't interested in that, and uh, I told him I would I would be able I'd be very interested in everything else. And he goes, "Okay, cool." Uh, and we settled on two hundred dollars, which is a lot of money, but for everything I got, is a pretty good deal. Um, we got the second bag, which is a DG bag full of goodness, full of oh, oh cartridge goodness. We'll get to that here in a few minutes. And then the second bag, this is going to be the first bag, unfortunately, but a Big Lots bag full of other. Ooh, you seen something right on top there. But I'm gonna show you guys what I got on this deal. And uh first thing I got is now I already own this. This actually might be in better condition than mine, to be honest with you. It's a little yellowed, but it is a Sega Dreamcast. Now, uh, I already own a Sega Dreamcast. Mine, mine is, uh, I don't know. I, I gotta compare to see if this is in better condition than mine. It looks to be in better condition than mine, except for it's a little yellowed on top, as you can tell. Like, there's the front, and it's white. When you get up here, it's kind of yellowed. But, anyway... Uh, button opens fine. Uh, don't think I'll have any problems with it. But there's a Sega Dreamcast with um, with the power cord and the and the AV cord. Uh, so it is a complete system. And it does work. The guy actually showed, uh, he was testing it out. I asked if the, if, if, if it works, and he, he said it does. And he sent me some photos. So I can confirm that it works. But unfortunately, it came with a third-party controller. Which is not any different than what I've actually picked up. Uh, when I bought mine, because I already own a Dreamcast, the one I bought, I bought from Game Exchange, like, maybe two years ago or whatever it was. I only paid, like, $40 for it. Um, and it came with one of these. It came with a third-party controller. Uh, I ended up picking up some actual, um, 
some first party controllers. Uh, looks like he zip tied it. I don't know what the hell he zip tied it for. But anyway, uh, this is a uh, a uh, performance third party uh, Sega Dreamcast controller. These are just like really big, as you can tell. It's kind of like a Duke controller. <laughs> but um, I might be selling the Sega Dreamcast to recoup some money back on the deal. But. Uh, I mean, the controller looks fine. It uh, stick is a little loose there, but I actually have another performance controller I could probably add to it because I really, I have like three official Sega Dreamcast controllers, so I don't really need like another third-party controller. So I might add another controller to that and probably resell it. Um, and guys, let's go over some games that I got with it. There's a few games for the Sega Dreamcast. Now, there's two that I'm keeping, and the rest I can get rid of. But, let's go ahead and show you guys the the stuff I'll, I'll be probably getting rid of with it. Which, the first one here is a internet uh, Sega Dreamcast uh, little web browser thing. Nothing too special here, but, uh, uh, you know, it's one of these. And, as well as the Sega... Dreamcast web browser. Pretty much the same thing, to be honest with you. It's just in different packaging and stuff. So, uh, in good condition, though. Um, but, uh, I already own one of these, so I don't need another one, of course. So, I'll be, bundling, I'll be bundling these with the system. As well as a really good game for the Dreamcast, which is Crazy Taxi. I love Crazy Taxi. It's one of my favorite uh, Dreamcast games. Uh, I actually own it on Dreamcast and I own it on GameCube. Great game. Uh, I, I love this game. Um, if, you got, it's, uh, if you guys ever played Simpsons uh, Road Rage, it's similar to this. So, great game. Uh, this is the Sega All-Stars version. Which, I actually had this in the past, and I ended up reselling it for a little bit of money. Uh, a few light scratches, but overall in really good condition. Uh, and, um, oh, I should say that, uh, I, I forgot to tell you guys, but anyway. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but a Sega Dreamcast complete system, like a Dreamcast with all of its cords and a controller, they sell on eBay. The average eBay price for a Sega Dreamcast complete system is 85 bucks. Way more than what I paid. I paid 40 for mine like two years ago or whatever it was. Yeah, the pandemic has really rose prices for games. And, uh, these little, um, like, the, like this probably ain't worth fucking anything, but at least this one is worth like five bucks. This, uh, Sega Dreamcast uh, web browser. It's worth like five dollars on eBay. So that's like $90 together. And then I'm going to be getting rid of this. This actually jumped in price as well. This used to be like a $15 game. Maybe maybe closer to $20. Uh, but uh, right now this is... Uh, Crazy Taxi for the Dreamcast is like a $25 game complete. And as you can tell this is complete. But I already own it so... I will probably be bundling this with the system as well to maybe... I might ask for like $100 on the system and the and the games there. I might add a few more lower title games that I have. Maybe a couple of those Sega... Um, maybe a couple of those uh, like Sega sports games. I have like two Sega sports games that I just don't play whatsoever. I might add that to, to it and try to sell it locally for like 100 bucks. And then there's two Dreamcast games that I didn't have that I'm going to be keeping for my collection, which is, for the Sega Dreamcast, it is NFL Blitz 2001, made by Midway. Uh, I don't like sports games, but I do like some of the arcade sports games, and this is one of them. Fantastic game if you guys ever uh, play some of the some of the Blitz games. They are, they are actually pretty fun. Um... Really good condition, by the way. Um, 
and it is complete in really good condition so this is awesome to add to my collection uh, quarterback training mode fast furious gameplay classic on uh, fire mode and enhance play editor uh, it's a one to four player game that's pretty cool and you got your VMU and stuff so uh, I should say that <laughs> these blitz games are on the rise too uh, Blitz 2001 for the Dreamcast sold on eBay for $25 complete. Nice little score there. And then the last Sega Dreamcast game that I, I'm keeping is a game I don't have. And if I don't have it, I'm going to keep it uh, for the Sega Dream. Because I don't find a lot of Dreamcast stuff. I don't. Unless I go to like a retro video game store. And I really don't want to pay those prices. But uh, I ended up getting this, which is... Uh, Evolution, the world of a uh, sacred device uh, made by Ubisoft Entertainment. Um, this looks like a, like an RPG kind of game. Uh, something I'm probably not going to be too much into, but uh, a shining example of Sega Dreamcast power by Dreamcast, SegaDreamcast.net. Uh, it's a one-player game. VMU, uh, standard controller. Uh, yeah, it says the first RPG for the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, revolutionary 3D graphics only possible in the Sega Dreamcast. Uh, sounds It sounds interesting. I'm not really an RPG kind of guy, but uh, it's something I don't own, and I got it for a decent price because this... Well, here, let's go ahead and open it here. There it is. Uh, don't have that. I have that, but I had the different version of it. And, uh, yeah. A few of those games I have there. It uh, has a few uh, fingerprints on it, but overall in really good condition. Evolution, the world of of sacred sacrifice. Sorry. Sa what, sacred device, excuse me. I can't fucking read. But, uh, Evolution... This sold on eBay complete for 30 bucks. So, awesome deal for that. So, uh, yeah, uh, pretty good deal for that. But I will be getting rid of this maybe for like around 100 And I at least get to keep these two Sega Dreamcast games that are worth like 55 bucks. So, not bad. And then I ended up getting this, which is also Sega related. <laughs> this is a... Uh, complete in-box, which I, I don't have too many Sega in-boxes. Sega Genesis, uh, complete in-box Sonic and Knuckles, uh, with the new lock, lock-on technology. Play Sonic and Knuckles, or connect with other Sonic games, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can play as Sonic, um, and you can play as Knuckles, and you can lock on to Sonic 3, for uh, for new secrets and things of that nature, and you could play as Knuckles on Sonic 2 with this little cartridge. So that's pretty cool. Let's go and open it up. There's a little slip cover. It, you know, it's not in the best condition, but it still is complete. There's the manual in the back, um, and uh, here is the cartridge. And you can add Sonic, uh, the Sonic games on top, and that's how you unlock the the thing. Uh, I don't own this, so this is uh, this is cool to own, and it's cool that it's complete too. Unfortunately, it's in cardboard. Uh, our uh, cardboard can be damaged pretty easily, so I gotta try to keep this in uh, really good condition. But uh, believe it or not, uh, so uh, Sega Genesis Sonic and Knuckles sold on eBay complete in this condition, in decent condition. For 50 bucks. Whoo! That is pretty pricey for this game. Especially complete inbox. Uh, I am not... Um, I'm not really too much of an inbox collector. Especially for like... Uh, cardboard. Because I think it crumbles too easily. As you can tell, it's, you know, there's some... Uh, creasing and, and stuff like that. But uh, uh, 50 bucks. Whoo! But I am going to keep that for my collection. And guys, let's get into the next bag. That's everything in that bag. The next bag is... We got some cartridge stuff. Let's go ahead and... Get some of this stuff out. 
we have we have a Nintendo AC adapter cord as well as a Nintendo branded um, see Nintendo branded AV cord for a Super Nintendo once again I do not like I don't find Dreamcast stuff and I don't find a lot of cartridge based stuff unless I'm going on Facebook marketplace unless I want to buy it in store which I do not want to do um, this looks in really good condition there's a little bit of yellowing but overall it's in really good condition um, I don't see anything uh, anything wrong with this at all and uh, he actually showed me pictures of it working so I don't really have too much uh, too much to complain about and uh, it looks in really good condition really clean let's go ahead and look inside of here looks in really good condition but a Super Nintendo and it comes with a a Super Nintendo controller and uh, all the buttons seem like they work and it is a legit Nintendo Super Nintendo controller so it is a first party you can tell by all the uh, all the indentions and things of that nature uh, so that's pretty cool and guys a Super Nintendo um, system like the system with one controller and the power cords and the AV cords they sell on eBay for a hundred dollars pretty pricey for a for a Super Nintendo but um, it got a little bit better because there were some games and stuff with it let me show you this as well this is also one of the things that come it came with was an extra Super Nintendo controller which uh, these are pretty uh, hard harder to find it's also a uh, a, a Super Nintendo branded controller that means it's first party uh, in pretty good condition all the buttons seem like they work as well uh, and uh, you know as you can tell there's your little stamp on the back make it so it is a first party and a first party Super Nintendo controller sells on eBay for around twenty dollars so this is worth twenty bucks uh, not bad uh, so it's always nice to see that's that's an extra twenty dollars with that and we got some games now I will there's four games total one I own and the other three I don't so I'll be keeping three and getting rid of one I'll show you the one I already own which is an instant classic which is for the Super Nintendo it is Super Mario World a very clean copy of Super Mario World by the way this actually might be an upgrade to mine I don't know I'll have to compare but um, Super Mario World very clean copy for the Super NES, the SNES, Super Mario World, and uh, there he is with Yoshi. Uh, this used to be bundled with the system a lot. Uh, you could bundle it with the system and get like an extra twenty dollars, because this game sells on eBay regularly for twenty bucks. And I will be getting rid of this because I already own it. I might compare condition-wise and see which one's in better condition, but. Still, a $20 game for Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo. But I will be getting rid of this, so that's an extra $20. Uh, now i got three more games left. And these aren't any games to sneeze at. These are actually pretty decent games. This is actually made by Capcom. It is The Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. Um, awesome. Uh, I love Mickey Mouse games. 
so that is awesome. Um, looks in really good condition. There's a little, there's a little dirt or something right there, but uh, overall in uh, in really good condition. Uh, I don't own this game, so that's pretty cool to find. And believe it or not, the Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. This is a twenty dollar game as well. Um, good to find. So I'll be keeping that. And the next game is also a Capcom game as well. For the Super Nintendo, we have Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, like a really, these are very, in like very, very clean condition. Uh, usually when I find Super Nintendo games, they are trash to dog shit. Uh, but uh, Super, sorry, Street Fighter 2 Turbo. Uh, this is also a $20 game. Um, awesome to find because I once again I don't find a lot of cartridge based games and I don't find a lot of Dreamcast stuff so to find this all in a lot was a fantastic deal but uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo run a $20 game as well and the last game for this little haul is for the Super Nintendo as well and it is made by Nintendo Donkey Kong Country I don't own Donkey Kong Country on the Super NES so I will be keeping this and once again a, f a fantastic condition um, and these games are pretty pretty taken care of uh, Donkey Kong Country on the uh, on the side there uh, cool to find and a game I don't own so pretty pumped to get that and, uh, yeah, that's all I ended up getting. Um, now, you're probably wondering how much is all this worth. Oh, and also Donkey Kong Country, a $20 game as well. Uh, but you're wondering, you know, how much did you pay? You know, that, you know, how much is this, all this worth? Well, like I said, I bought all this off Facebook Marketplace. The guy was going to throw in a PS1 as well, but he wanted like $40 for it, which was way too much how much a fucking PS1 costs. PS1s are like $10, dude. Plus, I don't want the goddamn PS1. The PS1, like, I could play my PS1 games on, on a PS2. I really do not need a PS1. So... I got the guy to accept $200 for everything, which was a decent deal because the average eBay price for everything is $420. So the average eBay price is $420 for everything, everything I bought here in this lot. I only paid $200 on Facebook Marketplace, and that's a total savings of $220. Well... This is the thing, too, is I already own some of this stuff, so I don't know, man. I'm torn on actually keeping this this uh, Super Nintendo. I want to, but I have a clone console, but I don't have a Super Nintendo. I might keep this. <laughs> uh, plus, it comes with the first-party controllers. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'm going to keep... I'm going to end up keeping the Super Nintendo, the two Nintendo, uh, Super Nintendo controllers, these three uh, Super NES games, uh, this uh, Mbox Genesis uh, Sonic and Knuckles, and I'll be keeping these two uh, uh, Sega Dreamcast games. And this is what I'm going to be getting rid of. And uh, I'll make... I won't make my entire money back on the deal, but I'll be making about half my money back, or around half. Uh, I'll be getting rid of the controller uh, with the Sega Dreamcast. Now, a Dreamcast is only worth like 85 bucks, but I have an extra... I like I have like two third-party... Um, uh, Sega Dreamcast controllers I can add, so I'll add another. I'll add another uh, third-party controller for it, so it'll be two controllers. 
and I'll be getting rid of these two with it just to make it you know with some games uh, I got crazy taxi with it fantastic game for it for the Dreamcast I'll be getting rid of that as well and I might get rid of a couple of my sports games I have a like I have two sports games I just ended up picking up for like a dollar or two at like a at like a thrift store I don't want them I just ended up picking them up for a dollar or two so I might be adding that with it and I might sell it for like a hundred bucks uh, just to see if somebody will be interested in, in getting that uh, plus I mean somebody might buy it if I just add what I have here but I want to try to sweeten the deal so I can get rid of some stuff that I don't want or I have doubles of like crazy taxi and the and the Sega uh, browser uh, I already have those I already have the system I have a couple of third-party controllers I can actually get rid of finally so uh, I might yeah I might put a price tag and maybe like a hundred bucks on that to try to get rid of that and then I might end up getting this uh, you know selling this on Facebook I already uh, like I owned this is like my third copy of Super Mario World um, I, I'll I'll be saying I'll be selling this as well for around $20 um, maybe on Facebook marketplace as well I don't know uh, but uh, I'll be getting rid of this as well so I might make around hundred and twenty dollars on this which which means I spent two hundred and I'll make around hundred and twenty back which means for so that means I'll I spent eighty dollars total if I could sell this and get rid of this stuff so I'll be selling this stuff but that means that I paid eighty dollars total for a, a great deal, by the way, for a Super Nintendo with all of its cords and a controller, which is around a hundred dollar value, another twenty dollar um, Super Nintendo controller, three twenty dollar Super Nintendo games that I don't own, a fifty dollar inbox Genesis game that I don't own, and two Sega Dreamcast games I don't own either. So, for paying $80 for all that and keeping it, great deal. So, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. Don't forget to um, follow us on Instagram. And guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys. And we'll see you guys next time.